Hello friends, welcome back. It's Jay here from Encode Digital. And we are in part three of our value investing analysis with Python series. In this particular part, we're gonna store our trigger list from getting the data from financial modeling prep. So let's get started. Okay, very first thing, we will go ahead to the financial modeling prep website, go to their API documentation and then symbol list. So if you go to symbol list, here is one. And if I click this one, like I mentioned, this is quite big. But what we are interested in is we're gonna extract the, all the symbols or all the stocks from NASDAQ Global Select Exchange or from the New York Stock Exchange. Now I'm gonna add another filter as well while I'm gonna get the stocks because even if I do NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange only, there would be around 6,000, 7,000 account as symbols, stocks. So I don't need those ones because as we have read in Graham's uh, criteria is that we're looking for the one which which are having the market capitalization maybe above more than two billion or something like that. So I'm gonna exclude the penny stocks. For So when we're gonna write a program, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for the stocks where the price is more than 10 because that give me rough an idea, okay, uh, those companies would be having that much. Uh, market capitalization. I might be missing uh, in, in some single digits, but that's fine because what we're going to what we need is that we then for all those stocks We're gonna download the, the The financial data and to be honest financial data is quite big because it's for last 10 years and even for 3,000 uh, Stocks it's gonna take two three hours. So I'm gonna stick with with uh, with this criteria but if you guys want to extract all the or all the stocks well go ahead but uh, i would be adding a, a criteria where we're gonna filter i'm gonna get only stocks above ten dollars okay so now let's start so we have our yes uh, now part to left at the value investing we created our environment so let's activate our environment so i'm gonna go to the environment so i'm gonna see the environment scripts Now I'm going to go back to the value investing folder and then I'm going to create a file so which will be going to create ticker list ticker list dot py because python file okay so I'm going to open that one now we're going to start okay we need a few packages so we installed yesterday uh, for to connect to the postgres so which is psy copg uh, in order to fetch the data from the URL, we also need requests. I forgot to mention this package in our part two, so let's install that one as well. So it will be pip install request. Okay, so I have code now installed. So after this one, I'm gonna make a connection to our database, which is psycopg2.connect. Then we're gonna give database name, which is stocks tech us. This is the one which we created yesterday. Here, and then I'm going to give user, so which is Postgres, unless you have changed anything while you installed Postgres. That's by default. So password, uh, your password uh, when you set up the Postgres. Mine is then go digital. And then I'm gonna have the host. Host is 127.0.0.1, which is basically local host. And then we're gonna have the port, which is 5432. Okay, so we have now connection string. So now normally what i do is that uh, i try to structure our code in functions because it is easy to read and then i call the functions uh, as we need so i'm gonna do if underscore name underscore if you are familiar with python then you would know this one this is uh, just to mention if i am running this module directly uh, then it is main and then it will run so I'm gonna call my main function so we're gonna define the main function so I'm gonna define the main function and in the main function I'm gonna do uh, try 
and then I'm gonna get the URL so URL is for the financial web so let's go there copy this URL and so that's URL uh, the next thing to the way because now we are browsing uh, the website via Python if you're browsing via Chrome or any other browser normally you will send a header uh, not you uh, the Chrome uh, or the browser will send a header uh, we don't need for this particular because this is the official API list but normally when you do the web scrapping or something so that you don't want to tell a uh, website that you are coming via Python you give the header and it looks like you are browsing via chrome or any other browser like i mentioned you don't need it but i'm gonna give because um, that's it's good practice so on the user agent now we can get the user agent um, from website so let's say let's say such user agent for chrome windows and then i'm gonna grab the first one so this is basically for the chrome and then gonna paste it okay now i have a user agent now we gonna call uh, the url so let's say response i'm gonna get all the data in the response which is request i'm gonna request the url so request get url and then i'm gonna send the headers so headers would in our case i'm gonna send user agent and the user agent is in your defined okay so that's our headers so now i got all the res, uh, data in, in in response the data is this complete this complete json now as you can see in this json the way it is structured is that they have the symbols list which is an array and within the, that one you have all these stocks uh, their symbol price uh, name price and exchange so i'm gonna go into the symbols and then i'm gonna loop through so that i can extract all the information and then we can filter on the nasdaq and the new york stock exchange so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do for data in response dot json because it is json i'm gonna grab the symbols list so this name this list so I'm gonna copy this one symbols list so now I have so I'm gonna iterate within that one so now I can grab the data and I'm not, like I mentioned I'm gonna do the if conditions because I'm gonna filter based on Nasdaq and, and uh, New York Stock Exchange so I'm gonna say data because now one data is this data is basically this so I can say data uh, exchange. Uh, so we're gonna do data exchange if data exchange equal to so I'm gonna copy this one the Nasdaq if it is this Nasdaq global set or I'm gonna copy this because we're gonna say New York Stock Exchange or if it is New York Stock Exchange now like i mentioned i'm gonna add another condition so if it is one of these and i'm gonna say data price because it is price and that should be greater than ten dollars okay. like i mentioned guys if you want to get all the data within nasdaq and new york stock exchange uh, just ignore this if condition okay. so now when i do if condition i'm gonna get that one now i'm gonna save all these four fields because these are the same four fields we have in our database i'm gonna have in our array so so that when we insert we can insert in one go so we gonna have so in our app data we have the data then i'm gonna have symbol okay. i'm gonna copy this so basically i'm getting all those four fields Done. okay now the next one was uh, name then the next one is price yeah. and the last one is exchange okay so I have the data in array now so basically we can print it but uh, we can insert it but before that I will try to print to see uh, if our program is running fine 
now if I run like this then it's gonna loop through all the 13,000 14,000 data which is a lot of data we don't want to uh, hit use too many resources even of the financial modeling wrap uh, just for our development purpose because why to waste a resource so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a break statement but break statement means as long as you get one data it's gonna break there and we will print the data so let's try this one guys uh, okay. now let's say Python pick up list dot py okay. so we have if condition oh sorry I didn't close the catch see we have the try but we forgot to add the catch so I'm gonna do uh, accept exception as e and then I'm, if there is any exception I'm gonna print it so let's try again guys so I'm gonna ticket. so we get the data as you can see uh, we have the Comcast one first one and uh, the loop was broken after that so I'm gonna so that's good so now we're gonna save the data so let's go create another definition which is insert data and here I'm gonna take the data which we have created in the array f data and then we're gonna write a SQL uh, which is insert into tickers now I'm gonna give the uh, our columns name which we created as stock stock underscore name current underscore price and exchange and then we're gonna give the values and I'm gonna use a parameterized which is what then I'm gonna use uh, percentage s percentage s percentage s percentage s because we have the four values okay now I have this one now I'm gonna have grab a data uh, and then I'm gonna have cursor I'm gonna open a cursor so cursor connection dot cursor this is connection which we created earlier and then we're gonna have a cursor dot execute I'm gonna give our SQL command and the data for that one and then I'm gonna commit our insert and then I'm gonna close the cursor okay. so hopefully this should insert but we haven't called our function yet so we're gonna do just before printing this is fine insert data and then we have to send the data so let's try guys so I'm gonna let me quickly check uh, yes our yes our uh, Postgres server is running and yes, it's running so let's quickly try to so I'm gonna run that again so it has got so let's quickly check if we have got data in ours I'm gonna go to tools I'm gonna create tools so I'm gonna write a query select star from pickers which is our table name and run and we have got the data so we have got stock stock name current price and Nasdaq brilliant now guys this that this way we can get all the data what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna remove the break now I have kept the uh, now I have kept the print uh, exception in case some of the data in the in in in, in the financial modeling is missing because we, what we don't want is that our anything uh, should break here. What we want is if there is any missing data, it will break for that particular stock. It will go into. Let me give try here as well. Just in case if there is any missing, then I can catch an exception. And if there is then I still want to continue because I just want to miss because there's no data there's no point I can continue I don't want to my program to stop okay so let's head over there and it's gonna print all these ones because I have left the print at least I can see what's going on and if it takes two time I will pause the video and then we'll resume uh, let's see so I'm gonna do this uh, let's see 
okay it hasn't and it hasn't saved as well because I know the problem because we inserted one and our stock was um, uh, already there CMCSA and this is a unique and uh, the reason it hasn't given because we haven't given any exception here so it failed here uh, but yeah so it, it, it wasn't able to do that one let's try let me try to remove this one delete because I'm gonna delete that one select start from because so now I don't have anything let me read in the program let me quickly check if everything else is fine so I have here as well try catch in case there is an exception I should be knowing what that exception is give a try again guys okay as you can see now it is loading all the data so that was the issue okay brilliant it has done quickly so now if we go to our because if I rerun this one as you can see now we have 2827 this is with filter um, of greater than ten dollars so guys if you want to grab all the data just grab all the data you don't need to add that particular filter so this pretty much it guys so what I've done is that or what I will be doing is that um, I have copied so on the github you will find all this code in um, my github page I will add the link to this on my github page in our video so that you can if you want to look into the code um, have a look into the code if you st stuck somewhere or anything then you can easily use this one so that's it for this lecture guys so in our next part now we have all the stocks in our next part we are gonna grab all the financial data for all our stocks and we will proceed further thanks guys and stay safe cheers bye